I recently switched the wall paint that I use to this guy right here. Whew. Thought this would be faster. There it is. All right. Nope. Still going. We're done. You can move on to the next part. Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here with another Super Vassar Brothers review. And uh, just getting this out of the way up front, this is not sponsored content, although it probably should be. I've talked with some of the marketing folks at Sharon Williams, and they've been less than helpful. And stay out of the wolf world. Anyways, that's not your problem. Let's talk about some paint. If you watched my last video, you know that I recently um, uh, bought a house and have repainted it all. And uh, I used this product on the walls. Uh, as far as this uh, review goes, I'm gonna go over kind of my five categories for um, uh, reviewing uh, paint products, goo, if you will. I'm a goo man. We're gonna talk about application, coverage, finish, durability, and cost. And then at the very end, we'll talk about whether or not this product might be right for you. Onward to the overview. Uh, this is an interior acrylic latex. Uh, it comes in flat, matte, satin, and semi-gloss, and predominantly it is meant for uh, interior walls. We also use it on bathroom ceilings that have a shower in it because it has the moisture and mildew resistance uh, built into it so you don't have issues with mold. And as I'm talking through this product uh, on my other categories, I'm going to be talking mostly about the uh, matte finish because that's what we use the most and that's what I have the most experience with. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about application. Uh, I cut in this product with a two and a half inch Corona Cortez. That is my standard go-to brush. It's still my favorite brush of all time, uh, particularly for wall paints. So cutting it in was really nice. Uh, it stays on the brush uh, rather well. It's a little bit thicker than Duration Matte, but not as thick as some of the uh, new products from Benjamin Moore, like their Aura or uh, their Regal line, uh, which is a lot of that's like smearing mayonnaise. Uh, but the cut-ins went really quick, and uh, particularly on the second go-around, but the paint spreads really nicely. I didn't have any um, like drops flecking off like crazy, uh, so really good brush feel. And uh, as far as rolling goes, we used 9-inch uh, Pro Doozy FTPs uh, from Wooster. When we have like bigger colors that we're using or bigger wall space, we use the 14-inch, um, and this is the half-inch nap. So that's what we like using, and we get a really quality finish with that. The spread is crazy, particularly on the second coat. I really, uh, in a couple rooms in this house and on some subsequent jobs, I've overestimated how much paint I needed, and I ended up with like more than more left over than I thought we were going to, just because the spread, again, on the second coat was way further than uh, typical for any of the other products that I've used, and I'm, again, really coming over from duration uh, for about the last decade. All right, let's talk about coverage. This can be a little bit of a sticky issue I found with uh, certain folks, particularly in the DIY crowd and professionals too sometimes. Uh, all of the marketing talk about one coat coverage and paint and primer in one uh, is largely nonsense. One coat coverage has way more to do with how you're laying the product down, what it's going over, and a bunch of other things. And this product does super good, and I did some really dark colors on uh, a lot of the walls in this house, particularly in the upstairs bedrooms, uh, a lot of funky color schemes, and it covered amazingly. So I, I thought I was going to have to do three coats on a lot of that stuff, and I only ended up having to do two, which is quite surprising, particularly on some of the... Um, like really dark jewel tones that we went with. And in fact, I used flat in a couple rooms because they had really dark colors. And I was like, I, you know, I didn't want any uh, picture framing. And then I realized like I tried some uh, matte in a couple of the other rooms with dark colors and I could have just gone with matte on everything. So very surprised uh, with uh, how well all of that marries up, uh, which I will talk about in finish, which is next. Onward to finish and sheen. So for the sheen, I'm really talking about how each sheen kind of looks after you lay it down. Um, generally, I like the matte finish. It just looks super nice. And on walls, it is what I consider to be a soft finish. The way the light hits it, it's actually less shiny than the duration matte, which I would put closer to what most people think of as an eggshell uh, in the duration line. Uh, but this matte is way closer to what you would expect out of a matte finish. It's way closer to what uh, Regal Select matte used to be from Benjamin Moore uh, before they 
Oh, I kind of ruined it. Um, so <laughs> that's what I use, and the flat looks amazing as well, particularly if you have a really dark color and you're worried about uh, some of those things marrying up as far as your cut-ins and your uh, rolling. Um, but as far as finish goes and how things look, this product is incredibly forgiving. You don't really even need to worry about keeping a, a wet edge, which a lot of old timers like to harp on and on about. You can cut in a whole room and then roll, and it's not a problem. Let's have a quick chat about durability. I've seen a lot of products come out recently that are advertising washability, wipeability, scuff resistance, all of that stuff. It's kind of been the uh, trend recently with a lot of products. And I just think it's important to acknowledge the limitations of what paint can and can't do. Every product is a failure point. Uh, even those products like ScuffX and ScuffTuff, uh, they will fail at some point as well. And anytime you start scrubbing a surface, you're basically lightly sanding the walls and that will eventually mar the finish. I think this product is quite durable. Um, it wipes off reasonably well. I just steer people towards doing it lightly and with just water if possible. If you're really concerned with high traffic areas, maybe bump up to the satin sheen uh, of this and that'll give you a little bit more uh, durability um, as far as that stuff goes. Last of the categories uh, that I'll be going over, which is cost. And uh, just keep in mind if you're watching this in the future, uh, this, I'm talking about this in summer of 2023, so uh, prices and participation may vary. Also, Sherwin-Williams pricing is super weird. So if you go into there and you're not a contractor uh, and you look at the pricing, I think this is floating around $80 or $90 a gallon. Uh, you should not be paying that. Uh, I pay around $49 a gallon for this product. Uh, but if you're buying this as a, as a mere mortal, um, you wait for it to go on sale. They run sales on this all the time. Uh, this in duration, they will sell their higher end product lines and mark them down quite a bit. So I would say uh, if you're interested in this product, if you can get it between 55 and 65 bucks a gallon, that's a pretty solid deal. So is this product right for you? And the answer to that is it depends. If you're a professional and the work you do is more higher end, um, you know, you're in a lot of nice homes, things like that, then I would definitely recommend giving this a looky-loo. If you're a homeowner and you're relatively confident with uh, laying down product and you actually notice the difference between nice paints, then give this one a go. I will say from my experience with high-end, you know, more expensive paints, the more expensive it is doesn't necessarily mean it's easier to work with, but this one actually is. If you're doing an accent wall or like a really dark room and you're using like Sherwin-Williams paints, I would bump up to the emerald. Uh, for any of that. So that's just kind of my my two cents on that. Take it for what you will and uh, Let me know what you think in the comments. So until next time y'all take it easy work smart and have a good one. Thanks Amazing